Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. In this video, you're going to be watching me unbox, build, and test a new dust extractor. This is the UDE 75B chip and dust collector. Thank you very much for Lumberjack for letting me have this one. I appreciate it, but I'm going to be honest, we will see how it goes, see how it fits with my current machine. You never know, it might mean that I need to upgrade to something else bigger, like a table saw. So let's get this unboxed, let's get it built, and let's get some chips flying. We're going to start putting this one together. Doesn't look too complicated, apart from when I look at things like this. Now see, this was a dangerous thing to send me. This is the Lumberjack catalog, and there are quite a few other Lumberjack tools that I'm looking at, like a table saw, hint, hint, Lumberjack. But if you're interested in any Lumberjack tools, like the chip extractor, the PT305 plane thickener, or the little drill press, then make sure you use the code BROOKSWOOD at checkout, and you'll save 5%. I don't get anything from it yet, but I want to save you money, so I've organised it with them. Nice little 5% code for you. So, I'm going to read the instructions and attempt to build this. So trying to figure this out, now there's lots of different attachments here. This is the only one that seems to fit it. It's not the snuggest of fits around, but I think it will probably work. Okay, so I'm currently trying to figure out where this is going wrong because I do have some chips going into the bag, but not many. I don't know whether there's a blockage somewhere. Ah, well that will be the problem. Well, there's all my chips. So why wasn't that sucking through then? And it's all because of that. So I spoke to Lumberjack and just underneath here where you connect the black hose to is like a chip blocker thing um, which sits inside this. I found that this has been blocking the airflow and all of the bigger chips like this sort of stuff which is a little bit big getting blocked by it. So I've taken it out and I'm going to try it now to see if this is improving anything because I wasn't happy. So let's try. One machine down. Table saw next. So my current extraction was this lovely dust extractor, which I would plug into the connection here. Now this works perfectly fine. Actually, no, that's a lie. It doesn't work at all. There's a massive bottlenecks here. And half of the time, 
this completely blocked. So I think we're going to take off my current dust extraction connection, refeed it that side of the workbench so I can plug in from that side. That's not going to be in there. So you would have seen me do this on a vlog quite a while ago where I connected this right angle joint onto the back with this tiny bit of hose. That worked okay, but I've got quite thick plastic here, which means getting things around this right angle is quite difficult. So I think what I might do this time is just use the flexible hosing instead. For a temporary solution, I'm gonna use the hose that came with the thickness planer. I'm gonna use this to connect the back of my table saw to here. Right, done. Okay, completely scratch what I says, just said because this is too thick. I need thinner stuff that's shorter. So, uh, just give me a minute. Right, I've reconnected everything, taken that big one off, which is now useless, and then I need to attach this to the other end. Now, let's attach this together and give it a test. Somewhere in this garage, I have a thing to attach to here to keep this in place. No idea where it is there. Oh. Well. Okay, so that's table saw done. Now time for the bands. So because I'm one smart cookie, I forgot to hit record, but this one, which came off of the table saw and is loose fitting, fits on here nicely. Here, it was a little bit loose, I've just put a little bit of orange tape on there, obviously got to be orange, and then that now fits nice and snug onto that, and then this bit fits into there, and now when the suction's on, this should suck it in place and hold it. So there you go, the Lumberjack UDE75B, fully built, assembled, tested, and I think it's great. This is a lovely machine, which once you figure out how to put it together and figure out how to attach it to everything, it's just a little monster. The only problem I've got with it is where the hell do I put it? because I don't have any space. So I think this is gonna have to go. It's a lovely bit of machine, holds a decent amount, the suction on it is really nice. And like I said, once you figure out how to connect it to everything, it is fairly simple to do. Downsides on the machine, for me, there's two. This bag is just a pain to put on. Trying to get the bag on with the belt is a giant pain in the ass. The only other issue that I really have with it is the switch at the front. Now this is just a personal issue of mine because my old dust collecting system, I have a nice little remote which turns it on. I can't use that with this because when this loses power, it will click off and not go back on again until you press the button. Now that is 100% a safety measure, but it's a safety measure that doesn't work with my setup. So that, I'm going to have to see if there's a workaround, but obviously I'm not going to recommend that you do that because it's a safety measure and they're important. Now, I don't know how this will work with a duct system in place. Obviously, this is gonna be used as a mobile system for me in this small shop. But if I did wanna put ducts in, I don't think it would be a massive issue. It's a one horsepower motor, which means it's got plenty of power for a small shop like this. I think if you get some blast gates in, it shouldn't really be a big problem. But in the meantime, that's me done. I will see you on the next video. And I'm gonna go play with the new machine and do some more suckings. See you later. Red sky.